Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful sight. We now have supercharger coverage all the way from the west coast to the east coast using the supercharger network on Highway 1. That's fantastic. And the really fantastic thing about this is that Canada is the um, new supercharger uh, hotspot this month. So it looks like they've opened up all across Canada now. And a majority of the new ones are the new 250s. So take a look at Saskatchewan. Holy smokes, they got they got six superchargers in there. And I think most of them are the 250. Well, let's, let's uh, try this one. Look at that 250 sw Swift Current Saskatchewan. 250 kilowatt hour. How about this fella? Whitewood Saskatchewan, 250 kilowatt. Let's see if any British Columbia has any 250s. Ah, don't bother. We don't. Not yet. All 150s. But I see here it says three or four stalls available. But when I try going to, uh, let's say, this fella here, it doesn't tell me. So Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, 250 kilowatt. And it doesn't tell me how many, uh, uh, how many charges are available. So if I was to navigate from here... To Ottawa, I can actually do it and stay within Canada using the uh, the supercharger network. Now, something to understand here is that Canada is the second largest landmass country in the world. Uh, number one, of course, being uh, Putin and Russia, uh, which actually has a landmass twice the size of Canada. And, of course, uh, we're number two. And then third is the China. And then after that is this place here, United States of America. So uh, it's now finally nice to be able to go from British Columbia all the way out to the West Coast, or sorry, the East Coast. Look at that. Here's all the... For, so for me to go to Ontario, well, there's quite a few stops there. But the whole trip is going to be 4,400 kilometers, and it's going to take 46 hours to get there. Uh, and that's only really to Ottawa, which is the uh, center of the universe for Canada. That's where uh, Trudeau and his liberals uh, run the country out of. But if you really wanted to, you could go all the way to Nova Scotia here. But the funny thing here, the odd thing, the funny thing, if I wanted to go to Nova Scotia, it would actually take me through the States. And I think it's because when we get over to the East Coast there... Yeah, see, it's just quite low up here and then come down. So I think what uh, Elon and the crew there want you to do is go down through the states. Look at poor North Dakota. Poor fellas. There you go. That's what they want us to do. And then pop, leave the Canada, go across here and then up. It's taken some time to calculate that. It's taken a long time to calculate that. So really going from uh, uh, coast to coast in Canada now um, can be done through the supercharger network. Um, this is going to route us through the, the states. And uh, when they say, for you know, the Canada is from coast to coast to coast, they're talking about the north coast way up here uh, by Nunavut. Um, there's nothing higher than Edmonton. Over here is Edmonton underneath the, the wheel there. That's the highest, most northern uh, supercharger station. So anything north of Edmonton, you're hooped. So, but you could go from coast to coast, go all the way down here to San Diego. And probably, I think, into to Mexico, they have superchargers. Oh, on yeah, here, superchargers down here. So you could go from coast to coast, down to coast, but who wants to drive into Mexico? Look at the east coast. Look at all the superchargers here. You guys are lucky. Anyway, so let's go take a look at uh, the uh, superchargerinfo.net. So here we go. We're on supercharge.info. And if you click that and you can go to uh, 
what is open. You can go to North America, Canada, and take a look at all these superchargers that have opened in the month of December, just in Canada alone. And this one here is extremely exciting because that's, uh, that's only about uh, 25 minutes away from where I live. It's Abbotsford. It's under construction. And if you click on it, there it is, boys and girls. And it is going to be a 250 kilowatt supercharger. I am extremely excited about that. It's been under construction for 23 days. There's the address. I might even take a boot out there sometime and uh, take a look at it. Look at that. It's, it's close to the Abbotsford Air, Airport. This line here is the, uh, the border between Canada and the United States. And there it is. That is that is fantastic. Oh, and another one in Richmond. It's going to be a huh, 150 kilowatt. I think that's going to... No, it is a supercharger still. I was thinking it was going to be an urban one. But, uh, yeah, that, that Abbotsford one is, is quite exciting. What else do we have in British Columbia that's under construction? I'm going to say absolutely none. But here you go. You can see on this top one here. This is the Trans-Canada Highway. This is now, whoops, clicking the wrong way. Hey, look at that, North Dakota, you're going to get something soon. <laughs> it was a big joke on Facebook this morning about how Elon hated uh, North Dakota. Well, uh, there it is. You are going to have some. So this must be a route through uh, North Dakota going from uh, east to west. And uh, the blue ones, that's that is fantastic. And you can go all the way across to Nova Scotia, New Brunswick right here. This is absolutely fantastic. Well, let's see if I can plan a route. Holy shit, look at that. Whoa! Uh, where do I go? Charts. Oh, I don't know about that. Let's go with map again. I mean, that is fantastic. Now let's make our way to a better route planner and see which route it thinks I should take from the west coast of Canada all the way to the east coast of Canada. Does it take me through the states? And I'm, I'm pretty sure that when this North Dakota supercharger um, route opens up, instead of it wanting to take me down here, down south and across, it's actually going to cut across there. It would be nice if it actually took me through Canada. All right, let's go to uh, a better route planner. So here we are with a better route planner. Hmm, it shows that I'm in, I think, Sweden right now. Maybe, but well, there's some black stuff. Maybe it hasn't connected. So it says here, let's start my location. I'm going to go from Vancouver. Vancouver, yeah, British Columbia. And I want to go all the way, so there it is. I <laughs> think I'm in Denmark. Um, so I want to go from uh, Vancouver. I'm going to put in something. Let's put in um, New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Let's go there. It's Brunswick, Queens, New Brunswick, Canada. Let's go there. So there it's calculating uh, which car. Select a model, Tesla, Model S. Mine's a 85D. No cow. I've already done that. Oh gosh, we would like to store settings. Okay, agree. This is going to be, uh, this is a little more. Oh, maybe it's the first time I've logged in on this laptop. Maybe Okay, I'll give it that way. So let's go from Vancouver. Let's make our way to New Brunswick. Uh, let's go Brunswick. We're going to Tesla. Plan route. I want supercharger. I do have a Chatamo adapter, so let's let's click that as well. Here we go. I hope you're as excited as I am. Look at that abstract ocean as a sponsor of uh, a better route planner. Well, that's good. 
Good, good, good. Now it is about 5,000 kilometers, so it's going to take some time figuring out which is the the best route to take. Well, there you go. It, uh, it is now said that the best route is through the United States of America. And this is actually going quite low down. This is going into South Dakota. And uh, it has me going from New Brunswick to Vancouver. Somehow I did that wrong. But um, yeah, it's going through. And, and of course, you can click on any of these to find out how long you have to stay. I think there's a is this graph you can do. There you go. So this tells you the route to take, how long. It's always oh, 5,700 kilometers. It's going to take you 75 hours. Uh, I get free supercharging, so that money there is if you didn't have free supercharging. So that a cross-country road trip in um, a non-free supercharger vehicle would only cost about $260, which isn't bad. But the 75 hours is the part that that would get me. That's that's quite a that's quite a brutal. I I don't know how I can I don't know if I can change. The route? No. Like I'd want it to go through Canada. But it's it's just saying what is the best route to take. Or the fastest route. Oh well. There you go. That's how to get from uh, east coast to west coast of Canada is actually best through the United States of America. Well, I'm actually glad to see that uh, Canada uh, Elon did say, I think about three years ago, that uh, he was going to place superchargers in, uh, well, across Canada. Uh, he announced it actually at the, I think it was the, the Y reveal that, you know, all these superchargers across Canada are, are in progress and da 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 da, and they would be opening soon. And that, as you know, was a, a number quite a few months ago that he, he had said that. So now, it's uh, good to see that across Canada, we have superchargers from coast to coast to coast. Well, not to coast, not the north coast, the south coast, down down your. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments about anything, please uh, please leave them below. Cheers.